I'm Jason Davidson. This is Peter Curtis and Peter, familiar rivals, the Americans and the Marlies, and they're doing battle again today. Toronto Marlies with a 3-0 lead over the Rochester Americans after 40 minutes of play. Joined now by Dan Kadanashi in his first uh, full season of pro hockey. Dan, obviously a couple of 30-goal seasons for you with the Owen Sound attack in the OHL. Well, Arda Peter, there's always going to be some pressure on youngsters cracking the lineup, especially when you're heading into the playoffs. It is the stretch drive. Got to get some of that seasoning in because the Marlies, they're a contender in the AHL. It could become 6-1, right? Because we got a 5-on-3 here for... Uh, at least a minute 26 so things could get really out of hand quickly and uh, as we know we all know the story oh and yeah he just you know got that arm up on Gibson and that's uh you just can't be doing that going behind the net well to say uh, today's game at the bunker was full of excitement would be a gross understatement it is the Sudbury Wolves who prevail 5-4 over the battalion the Branton Battalion this Eastern Conference quarterfinal series tied at a game apiece a short-handed opportunity Blandisi opposite wing Gets around Miller, shoots, scores! There goes the Gatorade bottle. And Bland DC, who has been skating hard all afternoon, has a shorty, and the Ottawa 67s, Peter, are within one. It's 3-2. Three minutes later, Merrick Zidlitsky's shot from the point, tipped sublimely by Steven Gianta. Quickly, it's two-zip Diablos. Middle stands also failed to yield any offense, so we go to the final frame. Gabriel Bork getting his team on the board. He has three in the playoffs. What a postseason debut for him. one nothing Preds. And that was a great backhand dish from Alexander Radulov. Halfway point of the opening 20, an ugly play. Rafi Torres leaves his feet and just hammers Marion Hosa. Hosa down and out. Had to be taken to a Chicago hospital on a stretcher where thankfully he was released later on in the evening. Torres, fresh off a four-game suspension for a hit on Edmonton Oilers forward Jordan Eberle late in the regular season. Can expect to be missing out on some more action for the foreseeable future. Okay, back to hockey. Jason Davidson here from cbcsports.ca. Joining me now is Chris Kalanos, forward with the Abbotsford Heat, AHL affiliate of the Calgary Flames. Chris, 30-year-old native of Stampede City, signed a two-way contract with Calgary back in February. Got to play in 13 games with the Flames as well, picking up an assist. Now, for you, who's had a history of concussions, how did it feel for you to see your first NHL action since 2008-09? It was unbelievable. Um, it sucked. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Davidson for cbcsports.ca here at Ralph Wilson Stadium in Buffalo, New York on the eve of the New Year's Day AMP Energy Winter Classic between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Buffalo Sabres, the second outdoor game in the history of the National Hockey League. With a win tonight, the Maple Leafs will inch closer to the eighth and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Also, tonight's matchup with the Florida Panthers will mark the return of a very familiar face in Leaf Nation as Brian McCabe will be suiting up at the other end of the ice. Earlier today I spoke with Jeff Wallace who runs communications for the Moose Jaw Warriors via email. He said right now Morgan is skating. He's practicing with the team, although more, more so skating on his, on his uh, own. So really no timetable set for his return. But again, Morgan, optimistic kid. And here's what he had to say about his ongoing rehab. 